Those devices uh, include the use of what we call dendromer nanoparticles. These dendromer nanoparticles are fern-like molecules that are about 5 to 10 nanometers in diameter that are flexible. And these fern-like arms of the dendromers allow us to connect various drugs to the nanoparticle. We can, for example, attach five uh, steroid molecules to a single dendromer. The interesting thing about that is when we inject the dendromer, it goes into very specific inflammatory cells. And once inside of those cells, uh, enzymes release the steroid medication, shutting down the inflammation, leaving the nanoparticle present with remaining medication on it. Once the effect of the anti-inflammatory medication wears off, the enzyme systems wake up and then cleave off more anti-inflammatory medication from the dendromer. So this is sort of like an intracellular sustained release system.